Hey everybody, welcome back to Kraken Packs MTG. We're back today with your daily Ikoria dose. We have got a double box break today. We're going to get started with this one. We have six people entering this break. So let's go ahead and get the packs out and get them distributed accordingly. Make sure I get these counted right and we can't forget about that guy. Because that's the... Uh, the box topper that everybody wants. All right, sorry about that. One, two, three, four, five, and six packs for Madison. One, two, six for DeMarco. And I appreciate you sticking with me through all this. The shaky camera work and the counting. Because this can get a little sloppy. So thank you. Box six. And I don't know if you guys had a chance to check out my earlier video today. But I opened a... Channel Fireball Magic Fest in a box. It took approximately two months to get here. And it had some pretty cool stuff inside. If you hadn't checked that out, just give it a quick look. See what you think. Let me know. But we're going to break these Ikoria packs. These are standard draft boosters. These are what you would get if you entered a booster draft at your local game store or a Magic Fest. Let's get started up here with Madison. We're gonna open these packs. We have our pull tab because these are the Japanese printing variety. Rugged Highlands and we have a Sharknado. Not a bad first hit at all. That is a very useful enchantment. And I think cycling is going to be a thing. First foil, lead the stampede with a very brutish cub warden. Pack three. And we have a sharky boy here to go with our sharknado. We have a very angry looking beast. And actually, let me go back. Since we're doing a, uh, a box break, let me go back through the entire packs here. That way we can actually see what we're getting. So let me just flip through these because I forget we have some showcase cards in here that we don't want to miss out on, like this one. So pardon me for that misstep. Got a little bit ahead of myself. I'm just so excited to see what's in these packs sometimes I just uh, I just keep ripping there we go back on track now oh here we go some beautiful Seb McKinnon artwork and have you guys had a chance to play with Ikoria on Aruna yet i played in a couple booster drafts, a couple sealed decks, and what do you think about this card? Have you got it to work for you yet? I've drafted it a couple times, and I've not had a opportunity or a situation where it's benefited me yet. Human Soldier, Tranquil Cold, Creepy Whisper Squad, and there we go. Kahira the Orphan Guard. I feel like all these companion cards are going to see some play in one format or another. And I've noticed the price is ticking up on each and every one of those. All right, Madison, last pack here. Let's open a spicy pull here. Come on. Big hit. There. Whoa. We asked for it and we got it. Pack foil, Nethroid Apex of Death. That's what we're looking for, and a Titan's Nest together. It's like they were paired perfectly. There we go, Lord Dracus. 
let's go back and take a look at that. Wow. DeMarco is up next. Companion token, island, and we got a Philidar, cat beast. Here we have our punch out tokens. I think they said there's 11 or 12 different kinds of tokens. Every time I try to talk, we get a hit like this. These, e even these, even these draft boosters are really, really good. I mean, look at that. Nothing else to say there. Here's our second Seb McKinnon artwork. And I'm not sure if you guys watch Rudy's channel, Alpha Investments. I think he's an inspiration, or at least he is the reason a lot of us do this, Dirge Bat. But I sent him a box, a collector's box, last week, and he actually opened it today on his channel. And it was one of the most impressive boxes I've seen. He was supposed to give the channel a shout out. Vadrox or Vad Vadrock, Vadrock, Mythic, Apex Legend. We can say that. But Rudy is supposed to give the channel a shout out for me sending the box to him. But he forgot to mention it, or maybe he was. I don't really know. Maybe he is just too uh, too excited and too shook about the uh, the pack emergent ultimatum. What was in the packs that he just forgot. Either way, it's no big deal. It was cool to have him open it. It's cool to see such a good box. Here we go for Dave. Dave's been watching for a long time. He's one of my OG homies, and we're gonna get him a Zagoth Triome right off the rip. I'm trying to be a little easier with the cards, excuse me, because back-to-back -back triumphs, this one's a foil. Let's see what's behind it. Our third Seb card, but that's pretty dang silly. I'm trying to be a little easier with the cards. The, uh, the microphone's about three inches away from where I open. And it makes it sound like I'm beating them to death sometimes. And I get, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting pounded in the comments. Slither Wisp. So I'm trying to be a little more mindful and a little easier. Heron. So it may make the video run a little longer. That's neat. I didn't I didn't recognize the sun back there. Look behind his head. And a giant. It's a neat card. Pack five for Dave. Starting off with a Kraken token and a Karuga the Macro Sage. That is a Dinosaur Hippo. Liger. Which are actually real things. Winota. This is a very, very hot card right now. 
So Dave, I'm going to say you did rather well, my friend. All right. Moving up here to Mudge. We're going to start him out. Just verifying the number of packs right quick. We have a foil neutralize. And is that what I think it is? A showcase Nethroy. Or extended art, however you want to, whatever you want to call these things. These are the boxes that just keep giving. Cogla the Titanate. I think that guy's gonna see some play. I've noticed his price ascending lately. It's hard to know what the prices of any of this stuff's really gonna be because we're still so so far from actual release. Garuda, another companion card. I don't know, did I call them partner cards earlier? I may have, I may have made that mistake. But there are partner cards in this too. Dranith Magistrate. We got a migratory angry goat. So is this guy an auto include or is he a sideboard card? Lutri, the spell chaser, everybody's favorite otter. Recluse. So this has had this has been the companion stack here. Last one for Mudge. A foil basic planes and an eerie ultimatum. Not a bad hit at all. All right, we're all the way through those. Here we go for Josh J. Song of Creation, first hit. As I'll keep saying, that's beautiful artwork. Some of the best I've seen in the set. And that's saying something about this set. There's so much crazy artwork. I feel like the whole set in general is overpowered. There we go. We may get the cycle of these if we keep it up. Luca, Copper Coat Outcast. I actually like the normal art better than the full art on this, especially in foil. This card really, really pops. Frenzied Raptor. And I think we did. I think we've hit we've hit all five of these now. That is impressive. There we have a lurker lurking at us. And a creepy cavern whisper. Sneaking out of the back. Crag Bonders Enclave. Will this see play, yes or no? I feel like it's very marginal. But Essence Scatter can come in clutch. All right, last pack here, Josh J. Good luck to you. And Yorion Sky Nomad. Not a bad hit at all. This guy has been seen a tick up in price. Oh, 
Polywog symbiote. We didn't get the, the baby Godzilla yet, but we got his little brother. All right, Josh, there you go. Congratulations, couple good hits there. Last but not least, we have Christina here. Luminous Brood Moth, right off the rip. That's what's going on. Starting off strong. Right. With a foil scoured Barons. The artwork on these are, are even, even better than some of the old ones. With an inspired ultimatum. Triome, there we go. Just guy colors. And are we going to continue to call it Just Guy Colors or are we going to start calling it Ragrin? Or Ragrun? Ragrin? I'm going to quit. I don't think I can uh, I don't think I can redeem myself with that one. And I've ran out of room in my can over here. I don't throw these in the trash. Wow. I, I've almost seen enough of these that I'm going to predict. We have a full art card here. I'm going to predict this is a Dirge Bat full art. So we have a foil, Trumpety Gnar, and I am correct. Dirge Bat full art. This guy doesn't, he, he's kind of flying under the radar, but I think he's going to be real useful. There we have Archipelago. Wouldn't be magic without an evolving wilds. And a Vulpakeet. Ruinous Ultimatum. This, uh, this card, if you could ever pull this card off, it absolutely wrecks people. Nightmare Squirrel. It has lots of legs, two tails, dragon scales, spikes on his back, six eyeballs, and lots of teeth. If you ever have nightmares about squirrels. All right. We're down to our last pack here. And then we move on to the big one. You gotta be kidding me. Umori the Collector Foil. These things are, for, for a standard draft booster box, this thing has absolutely been loaded and an extinction event. Let's flip through here. Sprite Dragon, strong and common. And the Fire Prophecy. Okay, let's scooch these out of the way. As you can see, all these have been numbered one through six. There are six sides on a dice. So what we will do is we will roll this and see who gets the box topper. Number six, Christina gets the box topper. We will open it and see what it is. I'm glad I opened it this way. That way we have a little bit of suspense. All right, here we go. Angurus, armor killer. Not terrible. Very beautiful card. Look at the jets in the back. All right, so bear with me while I get this cleaned up because we have an entire another booster box to open. And if you're wondering how you could do something like this, I've actually, I started a Facebook group. That way people could contact me and get in these breaks. But that got... I'm not gonna say crazy, but it, it blew up really, really quick. We had a couple hundred members in a matter of no time. And it got to where I couldn't keep up with it either. So I decided to start a Patreon account. 
That way I can have control over what's happening. You can contact me directly. We have our own little community. And we can crack all kinds of packs. Not just Ikoria. We're going to do other stuff. Because eventually people will want something new. So if that's something you would be interested in, scroll down to the description of the video. And that is where the link for that will be. And uh, just take a look, see if it's something that, uh, something that you want. And just let me know. Let's see, next up we have this box and we need some stickers. We have Ronald S. Then we have Diamond D. I wonder if that's like the old wrestler, old Diamond Dallas Page. Then we have another Ronald, Ronald W. Manual M, Jeff F, and we have Mikey M here. All right, box number two. Let's open this up, spread out some packs, and see what everybody gets. Of course, we have that guy. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to the collector booster boxes, but they continue to go up in price everywhere I've been looking. And there's many places that are starting to be sold out of them already. So I don't know if now, if you're planning on getting any, now may be the time before you can't get any or before they're, you know, more expensive. All right, round two. Ronald S. Starting us off. Try to move a little quicker through this one. Foil Forest and Vadrock. Right off the bat. Boneyard Lurker. Good first pack. Ponder's Enclave. Now I've noticed the casting cost versus the power and toughness of these cards are very... Uh, they're, they're, the casting cost is low compared to what you're getting. There's a lot of... The, you get a lot of value for your mana. Wow. Another one of these guys. Full Art Nethroy. So that's his second Apex Legend. In three packs. Voracious Great Shark. Isn't Apex Legends a game? Like a PC game? Cloud Piercer. Showcase in the back. Flourishing Fox and a Uri Ultimatum. Last pack for Ronald S. He's not done too shabby already. Let's see where he ends up after this pack. And we have our first Mythos. Slow down. There we go. All right, there is Ronald's. Here we have Diamond D. A 
Cunning Nightbinder, and an Inspired Ultimatum. Sea Dasher Octopus, one of my favorite cards out of the set. Lava Brink Venture. Titanoth Rex, he's one of the Godzilla cards. Here we go, Blue Tree, the cutest boy. Blade Banish, that's a sparkly card with a song of creation. Heron. Last pack for Diamond Dallas Page here. I don't know if that's what that stands for, and I apologize if it's not correct. Unpredictable Cyclone. This is just cool artwork. And it lets you cast free spells. If a cycling ability of another non-land card would cause you to draw a card, instead exile a card from the top of your library until you exile a card that shares a card type with the cycled card. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost. Then put exiled cards that weren't cast this way on the bottom of your library in a random order. This card says card a lot. All right, Ronald W. Whoa. Two boxes, two foil mythics. That's insanity. Snapdax. Foil mythic. What a pack. Boom. Snapdax and the Ozlith. That's crazy. Ronald W., there you go, man. That's a very good looking card, that Pouncing Shore Shark. It's kind of weird looking, but it's also, that's just beautiful. The, uh, the foiling with a blue background and a Triome. Crazy packs. Titan's Nest, Starix, Sterix, however you want to say it. Depends on what region you're from. Garuda, Doom of Depths. That is another big hit. with the old standard pacifism there in the back. Wow. This is this is a this has been a stack of packs here. Riel the Everwise. This is just this is a silly stack. That's all I have to say. With a great horn. Do we have another Dirge Bat? I think we do. Dirge Bat, full art. This this is an incredible six packs, is all I have to say. Absolutely incredible. Congratulations, Ronald. You got the juice. Here we go, manual. I know you've been waiting on this all night. 
Hopefully you're off work now and you can watch us. You have a Patagia Tiger and a Des Oasis starting off. Mythos of Vadrop. Vulpikeet. Moving on to the next one. And I've got another giveaway to announce the winners before we hit well over 5,000 viewers on that video. Kahira, the Orphan Guard, good hit. Like I said, all these companions are worth hitting currently. The, uh, the next video I'll announce the winners for is the one where we broke down a box. I think we uh, were doing four packs for six people. And then somebody's getting a box topper. I think that's how we did it. So that'll probably be in the, the next video. Foil Caves. Quartzwood Crasher. Trumpeting Gnar. Philosophication. That's everybody's favorite giant kitty cat. I mean, this this gives cards plus 20, or creatures plus 20, plus 20. Are people sleeping on that? Is that is that is this card gonna, is it gonna be something? That just feels, that just feels like a Timmy's dream. Mountain. Hello from the otter side. And another Mythos. All right, moving on to Jeff F here. Pack one, we get the giant. of thought we haven't seen this card much i think that's an enchantment i'll have to go back and read it but i think it lets you draw cards is that what it is whenever you cast a non-creature spell draw a card that could be something foil rare dirge bat with a mythos of a luna it feels like you get a, a whole cycle of these in every box. And they're worded kind of funny. I had to, when I first started playing with those on Arena, there we go, we got to try them. I had to read them twice to figure out, because they had the alternate mana cost in it, and I had to read them twice to figure out exactly how that worked on a few of them. I was like, huh? But a few of them seemed pretty strong. There we go. Narset of the Ancient Way. And I know I've said this a couple times before, but I think it's gotten to where all the alternate art has pushed me back towards the normal art. I think I actually like this better than the Extended Art Narset. She looks way more fierce there. Slither Wisp. Chittering Harvester. And that's it. All right. Here we go, Mikey. You're up. Crustacean. And we got a Karuga. Jim Razor. He's just a beast. What kind of beast would that be, though? I have no idea. This is one of my favorite cards. 
exuberant wolf bear. I don't even care what it says. I just like that part of it. The artwork. I know this has been a long video. I appreciate if you're still with me. I appreciate all my new patrons that allow me to do this for them. Cloud Piercer. You have no idea how much that means to me. It. I hope we build a strong community of people that just like magic and like to crack packs. And hopefully wear shirts under their jackets. But it's been awesome so far. It's only been a couple days. And it's going it's going better than expected. We got something cool. I think it's the Phoenix. We have a full wolf bear. Full heart Everquill Phoenix. Leo Sar. These boxes are so just to be just to be normal booster boxes. They're extremely strong. I think, especially with the box topper included. I think Wizards took the extra step so that these wouldn't crash like the Theros ones were. Finishing up strong with King Kong, Kogla, the Titan Ape. And this card gets out of hand in draft two. Whenever you draw a card, you put a counter on it. Remove eight. Create eight at Kraken, or you could cycle it. It, I've got my face smashed by that more than I'd like to admit. A two drop enchantment. All right, so we're done with regular packs. We have the box topper. We're gonna roll this D6, and Ronald S wins our box topper. So let's see which one it is. So we know they're face down. I wonder if these are searchable like the Ultimate Masters ones were. Or if they thicken the plastic so you can't do it. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, <laughs> I even got choked up a little bit on that. Foil Mothra Supersonic Queen. Dang, Ronald. There you go, buddy. I appreciate you guys sticking with me so long. I appreciate all my new viewers. All my patrons. If you're interested in it, check it out. Thank you guys so much. Have a good night.